This rock is mine. And nah, not those rocks at all. This one is mine. It's, it's the biggest one out of all of them. Hey guys, it's Gum here, and we are back with, with more Halo Reach. So last time we did only sword base, and this time we're doing Nightfall. Oh, and yeah, so let's get straight into it here. Oh, this is when you first learn how to assassinate. <laughs> okay, that one, <laughs> that one wasn't that really much of an assassination. It just jumped on his head. Uh, so, yeah, that's when you really learn, first learn how to assassinate there because, because yeah, you never really get the actual chance to learn it until now. So, yeah. Let's see if we can get this guy here and... Got him right in the neck and... Oh, they're awake. So, let's just punch him away. He, uh... There we go, and what's this you might ask? It's a new ability, it's called Active Camouflage. So it's basically like the Active Camouflage from like Halo 2 and such for the Arbiter where you just press the button and and you can move around and such, but it, they do change it up slightly to well, uh, to well, if you're moving and such, it'll drain faster and you can also get be visible. Well, if you're still, you no know, one, it acts like how it did in two. So, yeah, it, it's an alright ability. I don't really use it that often. Because there were much better abilities than out there and such. And newer ones, like the one I somehow triggered without knowing. Some, which somehow triggered, but I don't know how. But I'll get back to what this next one is in a little bit here. But, yeah, I'm just going to say this right now. This is my least favorite level when reach. Not because it's hard or anything, but rather because I just find it a little boring and from the rest of them. Like, it's kind of like a throwback to the truth and regular situation from Reach, which in that regard, because it's nighttime here and, and you have sniper rifles and such. So, I can kind of see the pitch wave they were going for here, but changing it up slightly. Okay, so. Uh, I can kind of get their vision of what they were going for here. Yeah, but yeah, this isn't like a bad level or anything. I don't hate this level. Oh, I just find it, don't find it nearly as fun or exciting as the other levels both do because, yeah, I don't know, it's just something about it that just does that to me. But yeah. Yeah, so let's. So yeah, you can't just run right through this by going straight on ahead, but I want to kill the enemies here for points. Plus just to make, drag it out a little longer. <laughs> like, you can make make a lot, a lot of skips in the stage if you know what to do. You know, like you can just run immediately right past this area and onto the next area and then skip that area and go on to the next area. And you can do it for almost every area you go to, which is kind of crazy. But, but there is one area where you can't really skip and you actually have to do it. But actually, you technically you could it in the standalone version of, of Reach, but not in the Master Chief Collection version. But I'll get back to that in a second then. And what that ability, there was the hologram ability where you aim where you want to go and a hol your hologram will just run out into that direction and then stay in that position wherever the, you place the marker. Which, it's a kind of unique ability. It does kind of help. I, I like the reaction that the jackals get from whenever they see it. They're like, he had like I don't know if we'll get it, their reaction or not, but <clears throat> well, maybe not in the stage, but we'll definitely try, try to get it in a later stage. Like, they'll look so shocked, like, what? There's two of them? Ah, uh, he started doing it there, but June killed him. <laughs> But yeah, it is pretty cool, oh, cool just inf oh ability and such. Uh, so yeah, I do quite like it. It's one of the be better ones out there. And let's see, is there an enemy out here? Where are you? It's down below. Hey, uh, <laughs> give it yeah, yeah. The only way to tell how the if an enemy's below you or above you with the motion tracker is. If it's a, a, 
red circle with a that is kind of see-through, then that means they're below you. If it's a triangle, then that means they're above you. You so, yeah, that's something I haven't really mentioned yet. Boom, headshot. <laughs> I was trying to quote that line from something, I don't know what. I remember seeing it in like a YouTube poop at one time. <laughs> in which, you know, yeah, that's what I remember, really remember first hearing that line from. Of course, I don't know where it originated from, so that has to be something. His eyes are open. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, it's like he's trying to sleep with his eyes open. And there we go. Do you feel like call Graham? So I can just get some cover in here. And yeah, I am recording this earlier than usual, like during the day. So, yeah. Yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> Why is my, okay, that one, my head, guy's head was just bobbing around. But, but yeah. But yeah, I am recording this earlier than usual, just like during the day, afternoon, because I wanted to have a little more enthusiasm. After the last episode, I wanted to have more enthusiasm. So, that's what I'm doing. Here and. And what. You ready? See that Grud was manning a turret? Not like we've seen those before in 2 and 3, but wait, we have. But they did change something up about them. Same thing with like the Voidhog. A standard Voidhog, that is. Like, pretty much any turret for that matter. Like, I didn't get a chance to show it off in the la last mission because I was driving and not on the gun. But, maybe next mission I should be able to show it off. Off because there was an area that I know you can and... Who mm, <laughs> no scoping. <laughs> okay, I got checkpoint even though, but, yeah. <laughs> it's nice that they always walk most of the time they... The elites of war <laughs> once their shields go down because that just gives you the opportunity to uh, strike an assassination. And if we come up here, we'll, here's the turret. So it's. They're too low for me! Like. <laughs> so. So I guess we'll just man. Okay, well, I can get one of them, but I guess June's gonna have to get the other guy, but. Yeah, they did change up the turrets in this game slightly to where they now have an a cooldown time for them, as you can see that bar up there. But and you still can detach them like from before and the from within three. But yeah, it doesn't have the cooldown, but it does have limited ammo. Will fit on the turret. It has infinite ammo, so it is an even trade off. So just take this gun for me as far as I can go. Or until it runs out of ammo. Hmm. What is that? And oh god, it's coming for me. Oh god, please die, 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 die. Oh god. There we go. Yeah, got some giant creature here with. It's not, we're not, not the only thing attacking us, it's also attacking the Covenant over there. But yeah, this is the only time that we get to see this enemy. And we get to see, and the and only time we get to see an enemy having, having the Covenant fight something else aside from us. So, uh, thank you for waking it up for that Covenant. You. Guta, I try to, to tell the name is exactly, but yeah, we don't see. Yeah, well, we didn't see any covenant around because that thing killed all of them. So that explains why. But yeah, trust me, there was covenant. They were shooting. I don't know if we saw the warrants or not. <laughs> but not like it matters too much. But yeah, get going here and. 
<laughs> Gunfire, what could it be? Hmm. All right, looks like we got some more civilians, dude. Here, here, and try to see if I can snipe as much as we can. Okay, guys, so got him. And yeah, we got four men down there, and if if you die, if they died, then a line, they, June will say a line saying we lost the civilians, or like he'll say like we can't bravo to noble two, we lost the civilians. Like, they're not required to clear the stage or anything. They're just there for, like, for he extra help. Help. So that's the reason for it. Kind of one of the reasons being here. And they do have some unique dialogue that I don't know if we'll be able to hear or not. But we'll try. Ah, if not, then I can try to quote it exactly to for what they say if they die. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, uh, that, uh, that, well, that was my first death, no wait, it was my second death, I was about to say, hey, first death, but I remembered the death from earlier, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so, let's try this again, but, take, take out the one who killed me first, darn it. It's not like it matters, I have plenty of ammo, and plus there will be more ammo to come. And getting, yeah, if you might, I guess one thing I should say is that you, if you're wondering why they have some radio static that happens, well, and sometimes that, if you get too far from them, radio static comes in. But if you're close to them, then it won't have be on a radio static, so that's an interesting thing. And should mention. I think it did that in the previous games as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, well, I don't think two did, but maybe three. Mm. But we need to heal. There's a health back there, but I don't want to wait for my shield to regenerate. Oh, oh man, there was two of you type of elites. So, so, but I managed to take you out in one shot. But yeah, we could just skip this area entirely by just going down this road here. But we're not doing that. Now we'll get the armor lock. And yeah, just a few more hidden enemies. And we got some extra ammo over here if we need it. Sure, how steal it back, how that would make sense. And yeah, I gave him the rocket launcher cause because yeah the, yeah, like before from with two and three, you can steal swap guns with people and they will have infinite ammo and I do think having the Yeah, see it does quite help. Fan yeah, that's interesting enough. The fan this is the only stage in the game where the phantoms have a little light on their guns. Which you can take out. Doesn't make that much of a difference, but it's a nice little deep. It's all just really there for decoration and detail. Here. Here, yeah. Come on, heal. There you go. Assassination. Now let's get out of here. Here. Close one. Agreed, there's plenty of health packs around. If I plenty, I think I mean probably two or three. I don't don't remember the exact number exactly. Except multiple phantoms coming in. Like there's gonna be one more after this one. And so take a out once it comes. Ah. Looks like there was a bunch of grunts and there was an elite back there. <laughs> Darn it, head behind the rock. But there's he, there he is. And this should finish you off. 
you know, concussion rifles, no match for me. And there were a couple other weapons that we haven't been quite seen yet, yet from them. Well, we might, ha we have seen them, but just I haven't used them or shown them off yet. Yeah, there's like a new a weapon that's exclusive to this game that's called the ne needle rifle, which it's kind of like a an assault rifle version of a needle. Or, or with, you might have seen that before, but but yeah. It's also like a different type of plasma rifle. I forget what it's called exactly. I mean, but it's not a, bru a brute plasma rifle. Well, because that's not in this game. And so. Yeah. Oh. Let me just heal him. Who in. Sorry, I messed up a shot there. Eagle Eye, 300 kills. But yeah, not like it needed it, Ed, because I already got it. <laughs> yeah. But hey, that rocket launcher guy's doing really good. I think we kept all the men alive in this area. And I think that's it. So now we can go on ahead. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, sorry for not talking. I just figured I'd let you hear the dialogue and see. Oh, it looks like we might have lost one guy. I right, but, uh, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. We didn't. He was just running behind. So we got Biz, Josh, Ch Chin, and Hats. Wow. Could they really been, were they really that lazy to just come up with four letter names? But yeah, if we wanted to, we could have just walked right over this way here and we could have gone on ahead and and June would have said we can't problem double two, we lost the civilians. Did that Oshawa just disappear? Because it looked like it. Because I wasn't paying attention to it and yeah, June tells you to take cover of that drop phantom passing by, but you can just walk by, by and it won't notice about you. Even if you shoot it, yeah. Yeah, it's just there for like detail or, or, or for a moment like that. Yeah, so. Oh boy, what do we get? Got some structure here and. Hmm. Let's try to see if we can get in this with some stealth going on here. Yeah, ah, uh, it kind of sucks whenever you assassinate an elite, elite like that, but then the grunts wake up <laughs> or something like that. It just kind of sucks, but it's just a tiny thing, thing I have to say, but yeah, no, like we need to anyway, and because like someone got stuck left behind, I need to do something because you can see his name from here. Okay, I almost locked in case that thing going off. So let's. So let's use this for cover and headshot. A oh, one shot. Yeah. You can use these turrets here to your advantage. I, I prefer keeping them on here because it can help you save some ammo for the later parts. Even though you will get ammo later on. Because, even though no matter what you, enemy you're killing, you're going to get ammo because. You know what I probably get, know what I mean. Because I mean, any enemy you kill is gonna have ammo. <laughs> hmm. Tuh, tried doing a jump shot there. Come on. Come on. This guy's just really not wanting to die. There we go. Well, yeah, to be fair, that is one of the stronger elites. Elites, from, because yeah, the elites are like breaking up into like tiers or something for like on how strong their shields are. Oh, uh, because you can kind of tell the difference by their design of their armor. Okay. 
Yeah, because that's one way you can tell the differences between them. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if you noticed it, that or not, but you probably have. Okay, I think we took all... Oh, wait, there's a couple more. We're over here. Technically, it's not true, June. I don't get... Well, I guess it's close enough to clear because all we have is left is just a few grunts. And that we took out already. Hey. <laughs> so... Alright, now we got a phantom coming. We gotta keep cover here. <laughs> well... Not actually cover here, but anyway on this general area. Oh no, we lost on one. And, and, and we lost two people. Um, shoot, and yeah, the hunter's here, and as you can see, I managed to knock off the arm on his back. Back there, so now it's much easier to just melee hit him in the back. Like which you can do that in free, but I just didn't couldn't be able to pull it off in free. Okay, but yeah, it does work like in free. But it's pretty much the same as this, where you can knock off the armor in the back, and there's still one hits from you with their shield. But maybe there's a chance to have these guys still stay alive longer. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess as we're doing this, there is a, in the standalone version of Reach, there is a skip you can do. And, well, like, you get to that gate over there, because the gate over there is where you're supposed to go once you, you clear out all the enemies. Because, and it won't open unless June opens it. And so. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. There we go. Hunters are down. But we do have some more elites that came in. Darn it. Missed a shot, but no problem. We'll go up and get him. There you are. <laughs> and there was another one over here because I could see the camouflage on it. Cause, yeah. And I think that's it. Yeah. That's it for them. We lost two men. Oh, look like you can finally catch it up. There he is. Yeah, let's see if we can find the rocket launcher. Because that could really help if I could find it. And I must have fallen over the edge. Well, it's not like we needed it anyways, but yeah. So in the standalone version of which, there's a shortcut you can do here. To, like, you get to get over the gate. Like, you don't need the fork. It's like, it was like doing that, but there's an invisible wall up there preventing you from going over. There we go, took out some enemies up there. Okay, when, so we're pretty much at like the home stretch, stretch of the mission here, but yeah, well, there was one, but there was a ton of enemies up ahead. And so like, yeah, the shortcut here, you will need either a forklift to jump over, or what I did over there to jump over if you were playing the standalone version of each. But I never knew about it, so I couldn't do it myself. And, um, oh, yeah, there's a ton of free turrets on there. Oh, that we need to get destroyed. Because if you can destroy them, it will make it it's probably a lot easier. So you have get... You can just take out the gunner, but that more enemies will eventually come hop in it. So that's why I prefer taking out the turrets. I should be able to see another one right around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Luckily, it's just like four shots, and saying that's it for the turret. So there's one more right over here. Well, I took out the gunner. <laughs> Because he kept shooting me, and that t got me out of the lock z scope zoom in. And so now, now all the turrets are gone. We can, you, can move on now. 
safely. Well, sort of safely as well. We don't have some so much a rapidly firing turret shooting us, which you know that's so refreshing. I don't know. Tried to guess where he was gonna move to, but yeah. I didn't kill him? Oh man, I thought that was wood. But yeah. There we go, so we're almost done. And here, just a few more enemies up ahead, and that's it. Good, so let's see what we got. Not even a lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds like he's choking, uh, he choked him to death or something with the sound he made. You know, I don't know. That maybe it's just me. Yeah, wait, there's just one more elite, and then that we it for. There we go. And only three bullets. Oh yeah, there was another one, and I missed my shot. So it's there because. Yeah, there we go, but that didn't kill him. Let me just run over there to him. Yeah, if you wanted to, you could have tried to run past this, but there's a good chance you might die, so I don't try, I don't do it when we do it. It's, uh. And that's it. We clip, got them all, and have two men survived, and just go into this cave here and cutting a uh, cutting will trigger. Yeah, sure. It will be a very busy day or a very busy night when I do it. And of course, cool, completed that from the beginning in under 28 minutes. Cool. Now, now for the next mission, just tip of the smile. Smile. Yeah, or spear, or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, it's tip of the spear, but I prefer it's tip of the spire because you're going up a spire. Yeah, I kind of spoiled what was in the mission, but no, no, but we'll save it for next episode. Plus, this is like 10 years old already, or over that. It appears that Noble Team's discovery last night was not an anomaly. Large government deployments have occurred undetected, and we are now wondering to have the cross the area Yeah, on your way for another time, and two of those warthogs made it by, and what details kind of shows you is that 
Yes! Man, I should get him. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> It pushed me off. <laughs> oh, well, that happens. <laughs> well, well, that's a good ending to this episode here, but yeah. Yeah, I'll talk more about what this gun is in the next episode here. <laughs> that will show you not to knock me off, but yeah. Doodles Warthogs made it in that cutscene, and detail they have is shown like there's one there and one up there that is destroyed, but yeah, but that Warthog right there was already there during the cutscene if you saw it. So one of them possibly made it. And who knows? It might, it might have a Falcon that got destroyed there, but yeah, if you're playing single player, a Falcon would fly over here, here and destroy. Would try to help you, but would get destroyed by some turrets. <laughs> Or shape to it. But yeah, that'll be it for... Well... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that was going off, but it's okay. But yeah, that'll be it for this episode here. So next time on Halo Reach, we should do Tip of the Spire, a.k.a. Tip of the Spear. So... Or, yeah, what the heck? Tip of the Spire. That's what I'm going to say for this. Even if it's not pronounced right. Even though it's not, I'm not saying it right. But yeah, I'll see you all next time.